it's another beautiful day here in Budapest and we need to go and grab some coffee. Yes, we came to McDonald's for a coffee, but in our defense, they have AC in here. We're starting our day off today with a little hike. First we walk across the bridge and then we go for a hike. Should be a fun day. I stole Sandy's sunglasses because I forgot mine at home. She's got a hat though, so she's fine. <laughs> We've made it to the Elizabeth Bridge. Mm -hmm. It's very warm up here. Very hot. So we'll cross this bridge and then we'll do our climb. We just started this hike and it is already so beautiful. The views are amazing. Guys, we're so sweaty. It's dripping off of me. It's pretty gross. But I think we're almost there. Let's keep going. Well, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is, I think we made it to the top. The bad news is, I think it's closed. I oh, know. Man, <laughs> this is as close as we get. There's still some nice views from up here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we just can't go to the main viewpoint mm -hmm. and check out the Liberty statue, but I guess we probably should have researched this a bit more, but. I didn't think a lookout point would ever close, so. Mm. The hike was still pretty nice. Very tiring, but very nice. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple other nice viewpoints, so we're just gonna check those ones out. Yeah. I will say, even though the main viewpoint was closed, it's definitely worth hiking mm -hmm. up here, because there's so many other nice viewpoints like the one we're at right now. Okay. It's actually not that bad up here, because it's really windy when you get up to the top. So it's nice and cool. Yeah, we're just chilling here. It's really nice and cool. I think we're just gonna hang out here for a bit and then grab some lunch later. We're getting really hungry. Have some food. We found a fun way to go down. Let's do this thing. That's <laughs> really fast. <laughs> I think we look like idiots playing in the children's park. We should probably go before they kick us out. <laughs> we made it down from the hike and now we are crossing over a different bridge. I forgot the name of the bridge though. Liberty Bridge? Yeah. Maybe. We're gonna walk over this bridge, head back to the other side, and grab some food. So before we head over the bridge, we actually just stumbled upon this church that is located inside of a cave. So I think we're gonna check it out first. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. This place is so cool. It's literally a church that's inside of a cave. Against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. The church was really cool. It's quite small, but it's so well designed mm -hmm. to utilize all the spaces in the cave. I've never seen such a church like this. I think it's definitely worth the uh, price to go in. I think it was like 750 huff. Yes, which is not too much, so it's, it's pretty good. It's like less, like 250 Canadian, two dollars American probably. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're gonna head over the bridge because 
we're very hungry now. <laughs> This street has a lot of restaurants and coffee shops, so hopefully we can find a really good lunch here. So we decided on a place to eat. It's like this small little bakery cafe. We got a cheese pretzel and we got a sandwich. Just waiting on our sandwich. And we got some cold cokes. Because it's very hot. Mm, that's good, there was two things I really liked about that meal. One, it was delicious. Two, it was cheap. Actually, third thing, the place was nice and cool. I think we're slowly gonna make our way back to our Airbnb because it's way too hot to do anything else. And then we'll see you guys in a bit. Later that night. Now that the temperature has finally dropped to a slightly more reasonable level, mm -hmm. uh, we're ready to go and explore a little bit more. I think we're just gonna walk around and maybe grab some food. Fried chicken burger. And of course we had to get some drinks. I got a beer and Sandy got an Aperol Spritz. And the whole thing was pretty cheap actually. I think we paid like probably $20 total for everything. Maybe mm. $25. I've been enjoying the Aperol Spritz a lot, especially during the hot summer hot time. meal was perfect. It was so nice going to a place and just getting to choose whatever we wanted to eat because there were so many different options and the food was delicious. The longos were really good and the burger was really nice. So I definitely recommend coming to check out the Caravan Street Market I think it's called. I think it's just here all the time. So definitely worth checking out if you're here in Budapest. Now I think we're gonna go and find a place to grab a drink. Maybe check out one of the famous ruin bars here in Budapest. So basically what these ruined bars are is they're like these old decrepit buildings that have been converted into like a bunch of small bars and they're sometimes combined or sometimes separate, I'm not really sure to be honest, but this place is really cool and they have like the most like random stuff on the walls. Like they've got disco balls up here, which is not that weird, these giant mirrors, tiles. I'm not even sure what that is back there. It looks like some sort of sink. It's very crazy, but it's really, really cool. So we're gonna grab a drink here for sure. Cheers to myself. Are you double fisting it? I mean, this is yours. You're just yeah. filming right now. They're so cool, but I feel like I'm in my nightmare with all these crazy TVs around me. The red lights. Okay. If you're ever in Budapest, I would definitely recommend to check this out because it's one of the most unique experiences I've ever had in a bar. Very cool. Now it's time to head home because we have to get up early to take the bus to Bratislava. 